Welcome back, guys. Another cliffhanger. We have got this... Uh, listen to the sound. Ooh, that is pretty creepy. Uh, we've got this crashed poison ship, which we need to destroy. Uh, but this is going to have aliens inside it to defend it. Um, but we've got to destroy it because it's poisoning the surrounding environment. So, what we're going to do... Let's see. Who are we going to use to do this? Um, one of those guns needs to be... You know what? Sky, go and replace... Oh, repair that. Um, and let's have... Um, bloke, man that mortar. Brandywine, man that mortar. Okay. We are going to blow up the alien ship with mortars. <laughs> um, we hope. The mortars are kind of very hit and miss. Mostly miss, as you will kind of find out. So I'm going to set a target, which is this ship. And a brand new brand new Oh, well, oh. Yeah, missed. And bloke, bloke's got a shell. Set force target. That. And. Oh, here we go. And look at that, like, wildly out. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it can actually take a while to get a hit with a mortar. Um, but let's speed things up a little bit. Uh, and it's a, it's a fair amount of time in between shots. It's like, I don't know, like 40, 50 seconds. Oh, oh, okay. Right, we hit it, but that's triggered the aliens to come out. Um, oh, crap. We've got one, two, three, four scythers, all equipped with charge lances. And we've got a centipede with a heavy charge blaster. And that is not... I tell you what, actually, we're lucky because centipedes either have these heavy charge blasters or um, inferno cannons. Inferno cannons are really bad news because they're incendiary and they set fires. Um, okay. Okay. Right, we need. We just need to make sure that we keep our people out of the way and let the guns do the work. Um, a sky's in bed. That's fine. You two, let's draft the two of you. Get you over here. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. They can take some killing though. These things. Oh, I think have we killed one? Have we killed one? Come on, take them down, take them down, for God's sake. These charge lances are long range though, so that they can they can sit back and they're only in range of a few guns. Oh man, somebody needs to flip the switch. Crap! Um, who's gonna be brave? Bloke. Is, are you already going to do it? Yeah, he's already going to do it. Oh, it looks like we've taken out another one, a two, one more left, and the centipede. Oh, bloke's done it. Have you done it? Okay, pause. Let's undraft him. Flip the switch. That's it. Now, what, what the hell are you going to do? He's going to go and get a meal. You're crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm in the middle of a war zone. I'll just stop and, uh, and have a picnic. No. Oh, he's down. Which just leaves us with this thing. But. Oh. I was going to say it looks like it's running away, but. Our guns are. Uh, I think oh, our guns just missed. Which doesn't help. Oh, okay, hang on, pause. Um, you two. Uh, yeah, come up here. Oh, that's perfect. Kind of. I may have to send one of them after it to kind of lure it back. Which is... <laughs> um, Brandywine's going to try this one. 
Come on, Brandywine. You could do it. Here we go. Are you going to come back and... Do it, Brandywine. Shoot him. Oh, good shot. Oh, no. Go back. He, he's, he's still running away. What the hell? Oh, good shot. Oh, Brandywine's doing an awesome job. <laughs> oh, okay. Now it's got. Now it's upset. Okay, run away. That is the. Um, what's it called? The the heavy charge blaster. That thing is not fun to play around with. But we've lured it back. Did you get hit? No, she's fine. Thank God. Okay, we need to lure this thing back. Into the range of our uh, our main guns. Let's um, speed it up a little bit. Here it comes. They're very slow moving though. Oh, and now it's going to go back again. Come on, Brandywine. You can do it. You can do it. Lure him back. Boom. She might be able to kill it. You never know. Getting plenty of hits. Oh, she took it down. Brandywine took down a freaking centipede on her own. Ho, oh, ho, ho. Unbelievable. Seriously. That is impressive. It's got these all these different body rings. Oh, well done. You know what? Um, kill it. And come on, finish it off. Put it out of its misery. We got Scyther there that's not dead as well. God, these things really do take some killing. Just like, how many times has it been shot? At least 10. 20, 30, the thing has been shot at least 40 times, and it's still alive. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Brandywine. And she's fine with a charge rifle, and a charge rifle hits pretty hard. Finally. No, it's still not freaking dead. Okay, you know what, Brandywine? Move up, move up a little bit closer. Actually, what's the best range for a uh, charge rifle? Charge rifle. Range. Yeah, short range. 83 is the best range for uh, one of these. Too close, and your, your chance of hitting it actually go down. Look, it's the freaking thing is still alive. How could that thing still be alive? It's been shot, like, at least 50 times. And I think it's a lot more than 50 times. Yeah, it's, like, way more than 50. That thing's been shot, like, I don't know, like, I don't know, like a couple of hundred times. Oh, it's the left hearing sensor. Smell sensor. The fourth body ring's been shot off. <laughs> It had like six body rings at one point. It's now down to now down to three. Wow, that thing takes some killing. Uh, these can just be left to die. I really don't care about them. Uh, but we do need to take this out. So you know what? Let's get um, Sky and um, Jim. Yeah, let's have Sky and Jim. Uh, let's draft you, bring you up here. God, this thing's still freaking alive! I'm, I'm amazed that she incapacitated it, to be honest. These, these things really do take some killing. So, Brandywine's a freaking hero.
like major league hero. Where's Sky? Oh, he's coming. Ah, uh, he was obviously, obviously doing some mining by the look of it. Yeah, we're getting through it though. We're almost through. That's peachy. That's really peachy. Okay, Jim, fire at the centipede. <laughs> like, what does it take to actually kill this damn thing? Uh, the thing is, I could just leave it. I don't actually need to kill it. Okay, guys. Move. I want you to kill this ship. That's what we're actually here for. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get you fairly close. There, there, and there. And then all three of you. A ca oh, a sour's miscarried due to starvation? Why? Why, 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 why? Health. Oh, 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 hello. There's some pig loving going on. <laughs> what the hell was going on there? Well, kids, ask your parents. Right. Oh, okay, cool. We've destroyed the ship. Sweet. Man, that was quick. I thought that was going to take a while. They destroyed it easily. Uh, so what have we got? Yeah, a couple of hundred steel. Oh, 120 silver. That's nice. I tell you what, Sky. Uh, oh, let's undraft you. And... What the hell? Oh, he's eating his meal now. Jim, let's undraft you and tell you... What, what the hell? Why can't I get them to do anything? I want you to haul that. Oh, he's attempting to recruit skin. Like, seriously... Why can't I get them to do anything? Undraft. Oh, unforbid. Is that the problem? Yeah, that was the problem. Okay, go grab that. Uh, Jim. Unforbid all of this. Ah, double click. Unforbid all of that. Uh, Jim, go grab some steel. Might as well while they're up here. And you, once you've finished eating your meal, Come on, get it eaten, and there we go. Uh, prioritise hauling some steel. There we go. Alrighty, cool. Well, we dispatched the alien ship. God, the the poison spread quite a long way though. That's not so good. But at least it at least it didn't get down to our main crop area. So there's that, I suppose. All right, so we'll look on the bright side. Ah, uh, what the hell are we going to do next? God, that could... You know, that, that could have been a lot worse than it was. That was a... Could have been, like, a nightmare. Like, if if we'd had... If that had been an Inferno cannon, rather than the, um... Whatever weapon it was using, would have been bad for us. The, it's annoying, though, that you can't get their weapons. They're, they're destroyed. I guess when they when they die. Real shame. Real shame. Alright, let's get on. Let's get on. What the hell are we trying to do? Um, let's crank things up to double speed for a start. Now Sky. Sky's back to mining. That's good. What's Nanny doing? Yep, yeah, she's mining. Now, how's your health? Oh, just just some bruises. Have you been fighting? No, nah, she's been having nice chats. Okay. And little Sarah, how's your health? Yeah. Yep, it's just bruises. I mean, definitely... Definitely looks like there was a... A fight of some kind, but I don't know. Um, animal starvation. Why is this animal starving? What the hell's wrong with it? Piglet 2. Oh, there's some loving going on. More loving. Piglet loving. But there's, there's grass and stuff, so I don't know what the problem is. We do need to wall this in, though. 
That needs to get finished. Toby, what are you, what are you doing at the moment? Let's look, let's look at the work schedule. So, Toby, what are you focused on at the moment? You are focused on research. You know what? Let's up. I'm going to uh, construction and repair first. If those are done, then you can go and research. So I'm expecting Toby now to actually do something even more useful than research. I mean, research is absolutely useful. Right? Don't get me wrong. But right now, I would like him doing some other things. So yeah, now he's going to go and finish these walls. Excellent. Good thing too. I'm just wondering if I should put a door over here. But nah, because we can get out that way. Nah, there's no. I don't think we need a door. No, nah, we don't need a door. Don't be ridiculous, guy. Okay. So, oh, what the hell? Oh, oh, we've got to, we've re we've recruited Squirt. <laughs> Jumped like I said. Where is Squirt? Where are you? Oh, you're in. Well, you were in the prisoner room. Where are you now? Oh, oh, she's getting, she's getting some gear. Now let's have a look. Let's have a look at your gear. Uh, Cost pounds. Right, you need a weapon. I'm thinking maybe charge rifle or the survival rifle. Oh, pump action shotgun maybe. Ooh, you know what? Let's have a look. Pump action shotgun damage twenty. Um. It's a close range weapon though. I'm thinking charge rifle. I'm thinking charge rifle. Um, where's, the, where's the charge rifle? There it, there it is. Equip the charge rifle. Cool. Now let's have a look. Character. Um, shooting's only five. Growing three, mining six. Okay. You are gonna you're gonna be mining straight away. Oh, the thing is Squirt needs a bedroom. We haven't got any more bedrooms. Holy crap. And I've got to decide who is gonna be Squirt. Who who's gonna be who's gonna have their name in the game as Squirt? And remember, Squirt is my grandnephew. Oh yeah. Which means, like, I guess there's no relationship to Nanny because of the, but she should be like a grand, grand, and it should be niece, grand niece in law to Nanny. So there you go. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll figure out the name for next time. Um, let's crank it up. Let's go to work and now squirt. Oh, good lord, work, squirt, what? Work and so um, it should be one on firefighting, one on that. Um, two on bed rest. That should be a two as well. And then flick should be a one. And then what are you going to be doing? You're going to be mining. That's going to be your big priority. And then if you can't do that, haul or clean. Awesome. So let's see. Where is Squirt? Oh, Squirt is now sleeping in the corridor. Okay, pause for a second because we need to address this otherwise... Otherwise, she's going to get, like, pretty upset. Now, like, where are we going to do more bedrooms? This is actually a really good point. Because this is going to be the rec room. I'm, I'm getting these corridors mined out. But I really do need another room. Now, I, um, in, you know what? Short term. Yeah, short term. If I set that not for prisoners, and then where is um, where is she? Squirt. Okay, I'm going to draft you so you wake up. Come down here. There we go. Now I'll undraft you, and you can go to bed. Da ha ha ha! So at least she'll be <clears throat> sleeping in her own bed and all that kind of stuff. So let's have a look at let's have a look at her needs. Yeah, slept on the ground, slept in the cold, disturbed sleep, mild cabin fever, been cooped up, needs to get outside. Yeah, well, we'll we'll get you sorted out. We'll get you sorted out. Oh, little Sarah and Jim are at it. 
dear, oh dear. This place, everybody's like rabbits. Got some loving, had a party. That, you know, things are pretty cool though. I mean, things are going pretty well. Oh, Sky and Nanny are getting some loving as well. Everybody's happy. Everybody's like doing stuff. Cool. Alrighty. <clears throat> we have got tons of freaking steel down here. Oh, little Sarah's fully healed. Right, that's all mined out. We've got more steel down here that we could mine out. They've got to mine out all of this, though, up here. I, I might l just let them carry on with the mining and, like, get all of this stuff done. Uh, now, we've got to, like, line all the walls and do stuff. Oh, we finished the, the electric smelting. So let's uh, choose what we're going to do next. Uh, electric cremation. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, what do you think? Yeah? Yeah, let's do that next. Research. Go. Cool. Alrighty. Man, we've got we've got quite a little colony going now, haven't we? Alright. Now do we put more rooms like a lot like do it do we put another row of rooms up the back of here? Now that's a freaking good idea. Oh, who's in a poor mood? Oh, Squirt's in a poor mood. Um, let's have a look. Needs. She needs to get outside. She's currently mining. Yeah, she's gonna have a she's gonna have a freaking break if she doesn't like get outside and. Uh, huh. Okay, let's let's get her doing something else. But I wanted, I wanted to at least doing something like mildly useful. Um, there's nothing to be mined there, but we could we could send her somewhere else to do some mining. Um, we've got those components from there. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna draft. Come up here. And once you get up here, we'll give you some nice mining work to do outside in a nice place. You'll like it. So what the hell am I doing now? Uh, oh, orders mine. <laughs> I completely forgot what I was doing. Um, let's set all that to be mined. Where are you? Yeah, she's on her way. She's on her way. Quite a long way to go. How's her mood now that she's outside? Let's have a look. Well, a bit better. Okay. Right, now we'll tell you... Um, undraft. Oh, what's she going to do? What's she going to do? Oh, she's going to go and get something to eat. Well, that's okay. That's good because she's hungry. So that'll get rid of that. That bad mood. All right, and now her mood's going to go up. Excellent. So now she's going to go over here and do a bit of mining. Sweet. So all in all, yeah, that works. Eight without a table. Yeah. Not the end of the world. Ugly environment in a little pain. But a mood's still like generally going up. She ate a nice meal, so that's good. I think if she gets a gets a decent night's sleep tonight, then she should be rocking and rolling. Man, there's a lot of steel in there. By the look of it, let's get let's get this mark too deep. Oh, we've struck contracted steel. Where? Oh, oh, another vein of compacted steel. Awesome source. These guys are actually like kind of plowing through this now. All right. Um, so yeah, I was saying about this area, um, maybe we put in another row of rooms and maybe, maybe we convert this to something else and move this stuff. Um, I'm seriously wondering if we don't just like move that stuff to here. Uh, and maybe not have an armory. The thing is, I quite, I, I, I know, I want an armory. I do want an armory, but I think this is going to get converted to a bedroom for now. So, let, let's pause this for a second. 
and we'll kind of design how we want this to be. So we're going to have, uh, let's see, we're going to have um, this is going to be up here. Now this is going to be it should be seven wide, shouldn't it? Yeah, it should be seven wide. Uh, but then we're going to need another corridor. So we're going to need to mine that out. But then we're also going to need a corridor in front of it. And you know what? The corridor could go up to there and there could be a door into there. Ooh, I kind of like that idea. And then we could break this into two rooms. Have a door on this side, door on this side. And that gives us another two rooms. So that's going to give us like one, two, three four, five, that's like another five rooms straight away. Okay, so if we're going to do a corridor going up here, then it's going to be five wide. So, like all the way up to there, like that. All right, cool, go, go guys. All right, so once, um, when they, once they start mining this out, we can do that. Um, I'm happy with um, with Squirt being in here for the time being, but ultimately we'll we'll convert this I think to uh, to a bedroom and we'll have the armory somewhere else. We also need to put in the uh, the medical facility uh, and get a hospital bed made and put in sterile tiles and all that kind of thinking. I was thinking to maybe move Sky and Nanny to um, to a room down here. Uh, and turn this into the into the med bay. What do you think of that idea? Is that a good idea? Because it's like it's closer to the the entrance. What the hell's going on outside? No idea. It's just Toby going for a walk. Oh, he's finally going to get this wall finished. Thank God. Um, how Squirt and what is Squirt doing? Oh, Squirt's coming home. Having have you have you done all of that mining? No, not quite, but a lot of it. But look at all that steel. Nice. Nice job. How are we doing in here? We've mined out a lot of this. Still a lot to do, though. We've still got to do this as well. Get the rec room going and get some, uh, get some joy opportunities for our colonists. But look at this. Bloke is hard at it. He's, been, he's such a good colonist. I, I just like doing my part, you know, I like doing doing a bit of work. As long as you've got beer, I'm happy. As soon as you got beer, as soon as you got the beer making done, I was happy. Uh, how are we doing for food? We're doing like, doing like okay for food, for like for meals. Uh, we're running out of vegetables though. So I think we're going to need to get um, Nanny working, nanny, yeah, look, we're a bit low on crops. Oops, we got hops, but very little else. We got some potatoes that are ready to harvest. Yeah, we'll manage, but that's not actually that good. All right, so let's set. Um, uh, where are we? Nanny. Um, oh, here's Nanny. Uh, nanny. We're going to set you to, where are you, uh, plant cut, grow, priority one, and stop you mining. And the same with Raven, grow, stop mining. We've, we've still got like four people full time mining, so we should be fine. But we do need to get some, some crops planted and, uh, and start producing some food. Otherwise we're going to be in trouble. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chaos just killed a rat. Well done, Chaos. Chaos is awesome. Like I, I, I love the whole colony. Well, we finished electric cremation. Build crematoriums which can vaporize unwanted corpses. Freaking sweet. Um, oh, we've got a blight. Is that why we've got no... F oh, man. Is that why we've got no freaking crops? Uh, let's go to the research screen. Let's pause for a second. What are we going to get going now? I'd love to do something like powered armor. 
Neuromimetic robotics and advanced plasteel weaving technologies allow you to build the power armor and power armor helmets. Oh, that would be freaking sweet. Uh, you need microelectric base, so high amount of research base, multi like, yeah. We could do it. We could do it, but I think. What do we go for? What do we go for? What do we go for? Um, I think. Maybe we go for the machining now. What do we go for the smithing? No, I think we go for the machining. Yeah, machining. Research, go. Do it. I've been wanting to do that for freaking ages. So let's let them just get on with it. How are we doing down here? Little Sarah, Sky, Jim are working on this. I'm just looking at this. Actually, that wall needs to come down. Because that's... Th this is a granite wall, but this is just part of, the, part of the cliff. So I need to take that down. There we go. Right, cool. Awesome. Oh, what's up now? Oh, we've got cargo pods. Let's go and see what we got. Oh, now that... <laughs> That is actually freaking really lucky. Um, let's unforbid that. That needs to get hauled. Um, yeah, that definitely needs to get hauled. Uh, now let's have a look at this blight. A mysterious blight has destroyed your crops. That's why we've got no freaking crops. God damn it. That's not good. Psychic drone. Don't really care about, but it's upsetting all the men. And... One of our machines, this one. Um, but didn't I? Let's have a look at the priorities. Work sky, sky. Yeah, no, where's Toby? Yeah, Toby is set for construct and repair, so he should get to that pretty quickly anyway. Because I don't think there's that much. There's only like that bit of construction to do, I think. I don't think there is any other construction anywhere. What's um what's he doing? Where is he? Toby. What are you doing? He's hauling wood to do a wooden door. Okay, good. That's what you that's the kind of thing that you should be doing. Let's see where is he? Uh, where's the wooden door that you're putting in? Oh, he's finally getting around to doing that door. Good. That's good news. We also want a door there. Should I put that in? Yeah, that's a good plan. So let's put in structure, wooden door, wooden door there. Cool. So we can do some right, preemptive stuff over here, I suppose, because there's going to be a one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the wall's going to be there, isn't it? Yeah. So we'd want a door there. We'd want a door there. Yep. Uh, oh, we'd want a door there as well, wouldn't we? Yes, we would. And actually, that didn't need to be... That didn't need to be five, did it? It only needed to be four. Ah, oh, man. That only needed to be four. We'll undo that. Because uh, I was thinking that we needed a, a wall on either side, but the wall is actually going to be there, so it only needs to be... It only needs to be four deep. So that's a little bit less mining to do, which is good. Um... Although we'd probably have rooms on the other side of the corridor as well. So it's like it's going to have to get done at some point. But it doesn't have to get done right now. That's the main thing. So what do I want to do? I want to cancel. Um, let's see. Orders. Cancel. That. And that. And that. Good job. Right, go. Right, so structures. We can start telling them to put some walls in. The thing is, like, how much slate have we got? Um, slate blocks, we've got loads. <laughs> 1,800 slate blocks. Not a problem. So we're going to have... The wall's going to come down to there, isn't it? Yeah. And then that goes across there. Uh, no, no, no. Try that again. Goes across there. That goes up there. That goes across there. And that goes up there. 
and bingo, we've got three more rooms. Awesome source. Man, look at the base. It's really starting to expand now. How many people have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve people. Freaking awesome. Oh man, you know what? I think we might um, we might just leave it there, and uh, I might do a, a little bit of planning for the next episode. Um, I might even like lay out some beds and furniture and stuff, um, lights and all that kind of stuff, uh, and maybe even lay in some power conduits and things that need to get laid. So yeah, we'll leave it there for this episode, man. This base is really coming along. I really need to go and um, extend the power as well. But there's like, there's so much going on. I freaking love it. I love this being kind of the center of the base. And very soon, maybe even in the next episode, guys, you're going to find out why I wanted these corridors um, five tiles wide. Yes, you will find out. And it's not because of the walls. Right, I know it's going to be three with the walls, but why did I want it three wide? Well, you'll find out. I'll catch you for the next episode, guys. Hope you're enjoying it. I'm loving it. Peace out.